Really think about using those abdominal muscles on the exhale. And this, and then just feel that sensation of that spring back of the diaphragm as it then descends and helps to fill the lungs with air. And all together, inhale, let's bring our hands together to heart center. Sharing the prana about three times. Take a breath in. Oh. Taking the hands, bringing the palms one on top of the other in front of the heart, shorter version of the Guru Mantra. Three times, take a breath in. Om Hring Shri Guru Namaha. Om Hring Shri Guru Namaha. Om Hring Shri Guru Namaha. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And then as you exhale, open your eyes, release the pose. Barbara, I think your uh, volume or speaker microphone is still on on one of your devices. All right, sitting in a nice upright position. What we did uh, a month ago is we start to warm up the shoulders and the neck, extend the arms out to the side, open the palms, keep the head neutral for now, and inhale the arms up, releasing the shoulders down as you extend through the fingers, and then exhale down. Really think about extending through the spine and from the heart, the fingertips. Inhale up. And exhale down. Let's involve the neck. This time we'll be looking up. Inhale. And now look up. Drop the head. And exhale. Bring the head back to neutral when the hands are on the line. And then down to your chest. Inhale up. Pass through neutral, lift the chin up, drop shoulders, and exhale, reverse the process. Let's do it one more time, being mindful where we do feel a little bit of discomfort, and just breathe through it. Trying to find more ease in this movement. This time we're looking to the right, inhale. Pass through neutral, look to the right, nice and easy. And then exhale, no strain on the neck. Whatever is natural for you, that's your movement today. Look into the left, inhale, pass through neutral. Look left, try and keep your chin in the same plane so it's not moving up or down as you look left and right. Let's go to the right once more, inhale. Looking right, exhale. Pass through neutral, chin to chest. One more time left. Inhale, look left. And exhale, reverse. Bringing both palms to our knees. Roll the shoulders up and back. Sit up nice and straight. Let's do a nice seated spinal twist. Left hand to the right knee. Extend your right arm out to the side first. Roll that shoulder back. Open up the palm. Inhale the arm up overhead. Set the shoulder once more. Now we're in a wonderful position for the twist. Take a breath in. As you exhale, find the twist to the right. Hold here. Align your shoulders once more as needed. If you're tempted to push with that left hand, lift the left hand gently off the knee. Take a breath in. Extend up. And then exhale. Bring the right hand down behind you. 
Hold here. Think about where your chin and neck are. If they can, to go forward and round the shoulders. Try and bring them back or lessen the twist. Hold here. Find that soft breath. Even the easy moves that don't challenge us are wonderful uh, and beneficial to the internal organs in our digestive system, to our lungs, and just to our sense of mindfulness. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To come out, open up the palm, inhale the right arm up behind you. As you exhale, come back to center and release. Opposite side, right hand to left knee. Extend the left arm out to the side. Open the palm. Inhale the left arm up. Drop the shoulders. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, find the twist. Align your shoulders once more. Check where your chin is. And now take another breath in. And as you exhale, release the left hand to the mat behind you. Hold here. Big breaths. You want to have a nice soft belly here. That will facilitate the twist, releasing tension through the abdominal muscles and in those long muscles in the back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. To come out, open up the left palm, inhale the left arm up, and as you exhale, come back to center and release. Both hands in front, roll the shoulders up and back, sit up nice and straight. Forward fold here, take a breath in, and as you exhale, simply so walk your fingers forward. And go ahead, drop the head, Chin to chest and round the shoulders, that's fine. And just kind of hang out here. We're really uh, challenging the hips, knees, and ankles here. Feel free to use a prop underneath your head or even um, at your belly, between your belly and your thighs. You just want to really come to a, a state of relaxation as we go through our yoga practice this morning. Feel the movement of your breath as your belly is pushing against the thighs or the floor, perhaps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one to come out, lift the head, lengthen the back, use your hands for support as you inhale, draw the hands towards the body, and we come back to our original position. From here, let's come into child's pose and kind of give a rest to the um, knees and ankles. Remember, you can do puppy pose with the butt up in the air or bring the butt all the way back to the heel. Doesn't matter if your knees are open or closed, what feels good for you today. And this is a short account. Four, three, two, and one. Let's come back into Vajrasana, sitting on our heels, lift the head, lengthen back, use the hands, inhale, draw the torso up. Let's comfortably sit on our heels. Use any parts you need underneath the butt or between the thigh and knee, thigh and calf. We'll be doing some movements on our knees right now. So if you'd like to put a cushion underneath your knee, uh, go ahead. Inhale, let's go ahead and stand up on our knees. Now, if your knees are together, you may want to open them up so that your knees are underneath your hips for stability. This is uh, things we've done before. As we inhale, go ahead and shift the weight to the left knee to free up the right foot so that you can step forward into a lunge. Let's look at this lunge. 
In this pose, I'd like the knee to be over the ankle. I'm, I'm sort of in the center, I'm not sure if you can see me. So look down, let's find that nice alignment. Lift the chest up, hands behind you. If you can, clasp the hands behind you and then draw them behind you, opening up the heart even more, but not at the expense of the shoulders coming up towards the ears, all right? Now, I can't bring my hands together, but I can bring my arms behind me, opening the chest. Nice, hold here. Keep thinking about elongating through the pelvic bone all the way up the chest, really opening the heart, dropping the shoulders. Four, three, two, one, release the hands to your sides, palms open and inhale, arms up. Hold here. Drop shoulders, shine heart. Four, three, two, one. As you exhale, simply bring the hands down on either side of your foot and then sit back. Hamstring stretch. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to your lunge. Now, at this position, when it's a challenge to bring our hands flat on the mat, what do we do? We tend to round our shoulders. So what I'm going to ask you to do, if that is your tendency, like you can see it is for me, I'm going to lift my heart. Having a nice straight back, see the difference from round back to straight back. Now that means I have to come up on my fingertips. So do what you need to do to have a straight back. You need to feel the opening more in your hips this way. Good. Hold here. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, hamstring stretch. I'm trying to keep my back straight again, even though I'm on my fingertips. I know some of you are really nice and flexible here, so you'll be on your, the flat of your hands. That's wonderful. Hold four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back. Be aware of that straight back. And then inhale, release the torso up. Palms open, hands over our sides, and inhale, arms up. Hold four. Three, two, one. Let's keep our hands exactly where they are as we bring the right knee back to meet the left. Ready? As you inhale, just come back. And we're standing on both knees. Let's keep our arms here. Inhale, shift weight to the right to free up the left. Step forward, check your alignment as you come into this lunge. Hold here. Four, three, Two, one, go ahead, release the hands behind you, press the hands behind, open the heart. Really think about extending from the pelvic bone through the chest, arms behind us. Hold here. Four, three, two. One, release, hands by our sides, open the palms, inhale, arms up high. Relax the shoulders down and hold here. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, release the hands down to the mat on either side of the foot. And then play with that when you're rounded shoulders and when you're straight and you feel the difference. Once you uh, feel confident that you can feel the difference, come to that nice straight back wherever your hands need to be. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. One. Hamstring stretch. Exhale. Sit back. Hamstring stretch. Let's try and maintain that back so we really feel the stretch in the leg and we're not compensating with rounded shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to the lunge. Straight back, shining the heart. 
that causes us the movement to be more about opening the hips. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, stretch. I mean, hamstring stretch. Exhale, sit back. Fold. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back. And then this time again, let's release the hands, lift the torso, hands are by our sides, open the palms, inhale, arms up. Relax the shoulders down. Keep stretching from the pelvic bone all the way up through the crown. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Release the hands down to your sides and now press the hands behind you. Open up the heart even more. Drop the shoulders. Arms are clasped behind us. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Release your hands to your sides. Open up the palms. Inhale, arms up overhead. Relax, shoulders down. And then exhale, release your hands either side of the foot. Last one, hamstring stretch. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, sit back for the hamstring stretch. Both here. And coming back to our lunge, inhale, come back to lunge. Release hands up overhead, lifting the torso up also. Keeping our arms in this position, let's step back, bringing both knees together. Do inhale, step back. We're standing on both knees. Exhale, release, do Vajrasana. Coming into a dolphin neutral tabletop. So using a neutral tabletop, we're on our hands. Let's just come down to our elbows, forearms. From here, coming into the dolphin, curl both toes under. And then as you exhale, you're lifting the hips up and feeling a nice stretch through the hamstrings once more and a nice challenge to the ankles also. Introducing much more flexion. So this is the dolphin pose. Keep pushing through the shoulders. You don't want to dump your weight into your shoulders. Keep pushing down just like you do in a downward facing dog. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Now, before we come into a dolphin plank, we need to transfer the alignment of shoulders over the elbows. Right now, they're in front or in back, however you want to say it. So, lift the head, kind of look at your elbows, then now shift your weight so that your shoulders are over your elbows. Now, for some of you, right here, you can uh, lower your hips and you'll be in a beautiful plank. For others like me, I take a step back, lower the hips. Boom, we're in dolphin plank. Let's hold. The key to any plank, remember, is to engage that slight pelvic tilt so you feel as if you're bringing your pelvic bone towards the head. At the same time, you're letting your heels fall behind you. Hold four, three, two, one. As you exhale, release the knees down and let's come right into a little baby cobra. Remember, think about your shoulders. You want space between the shoulders and ears. The way to do that is think about your shoulder blades. Draw them towards one another and down the spine. If you have a tendency for your heels and the whole leg to fall to the outside, now's a good time to be mindful of that. We'd like the back of the knees and the heels to be pointed up towards the sky. If you need to find more distance between your legs to do that, go ahead. All our hips are a little bit different. Hold. 
I'm still pushing through my shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead, let's curl the toes under. Getting ready for a dolphin plank. Inhale, lift up, dolphin plank. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, into dolphin. That may mean you need to walk forward your feet a little bit, no problem, go ahead. Then come into your dolphin. Really opening up that ankle as best you can in the armpit, just like you do in a downward facing dog. Hold, four, three, two, one. Coming into a plank, first shift the shoulders right over the elbows. Step back as needed, come into your dolphin plank. Engage the core, what does that mean? Slight pelvic tilt, bringing the pelvic bone towards, towards your head. Heels behind, hold, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, release the knees and feet and then just kind of scoop or do a nice beautiful wave right into your baby cobra or sphinx pose. Hold here. Four, three, two, and one. Curl the toes under, inhale, plank. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, dolphin. Hold. Four. Three, two, and one. Notice your breath here. Get a nice, easy breath. The belly easily expands. Coming into dolphin plank, shift the shoulders, and then lower down into your dolphin plank. Notice the breath here. It's a little bit different because our core is engaged. Still trying to be nice and relaxed though. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, release knees. Do that nice little wave right into your baby cobra. Remember how we switch the breath here? Really feel those ribs expanding to the side. The belly is quiet now. The more you feel that expansion of the ribs, you're even going to feel a bit of movement right at the lower spine. All four. Three. Two. And one. Curl the toes under, drop and plank. Four. Three, two, one. Exhale, dolphin. Hold. Four. Three, two, one. Okay, last set. Shift shoulders over elbows. Come into double plank. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale, release. Do a nice little wave right up to Sphinx. Changing the breath. Four. Three. Two. And one. As you exhale, release the head down, release the hands. Let's come into Makarasana. Crocodile pose, so feet are pointing out, head is to one side, hands are down by our hips. Hold here.
And coming out, let's come right back to neutral tabletop, but this time on your hands. Use my block so I can do that. So my neutral tabletop. And let's come right into a nice downward facing dog. Curl the toes under. And as you exhale, lift the hips and yay. We're in downward facing dog. Keep pushing through the shoulders. Fall for four, three, two, and one. All right, bring your left foot towards the center line if it's not already there. So you have balance to lift your right leg up behind you. All right, you're in position as you inhale, bring the right foot behind you. Try and keep your hips square. Nice long back. As you extend that left leg behind you, think that somebody's pulling your big toe behind. Hold four, three, two, one. As you exhale, release the right leg back. Find it on the center line so you have balance. Inhale, bring the left leg behind you. Hold. Four, three, two, one. As you exhale, release. And then let's do the right side. I'm coming down to dolphin plank. You guys stay up. I mean, I'm coming to dolphin pose and doing it. You can stay in downward facing dog. So right leg is behind us. Four, three, two, one, exhale, release. Get ready for the left leg. And inhale, lift up behind you. Keep pushing the shoulders, nice long back. Four, three, two, one, exhale, release. Okay, last one on each side. Inhale, right leg up. Hold. Four. Three, two, one, exhale, release. Find your balance point and inhale the left leg up behind you. Square hips, long back. You're still bringing your chest towards your thighs in that direction behind you. Four, three, two, one, exhale, release. And gently come down to child's pose. Let's stay here. Again, if you're feeling some discomfort in the shoulders, you can always bring your hands behind you, next to your feet, palms up, and do your child pose in this position. Four. Three, two, and one. Coming into Vajrasana, lift the head, like in the back, use your hands as needed, and then sit up right into Vajrasana. From here, coming into a low squat, bring your hands in front of you, throw the toes under, and then as you exhale, you just push back into your low squat. Hands in front, clasp together, Go ahead and round the back, tuck the chin. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. One coming into a nice forward fold. Release the hands. Either in front of you or on either side of your toes. And as you exhale, you simply come into a standing forward fold. Your, your head and torso are still down. Roll the shoulders up and back so they're not hanging around by your ears. Let's see, are our hips over our heels or are we tempted to lean back? Make adjustments as needed, hold here. 
four, three, two, one. As we exhale, let's come back into that nice little squat. Extend the arms, tuck the chin, round the shoulders. Hold. Four, three, two, one forward fold, lift hips, drop hands, center your hips over your ankles and heels, hold here, roll the shoulders up and back, four, three, two, and one, exhale back to that nice little squat, hold, Four, three, two, one, exhale forward fold, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, nice squat. Now remember, if we're having problems with our knees or our hips, Coming down to 90 degree angles like this, where you're sitting, extending the arms in front of you, nice straight back. That's cool. Three, two, one, last one, forward fold. So if you, uh, if your feet are not together, in this position, very carefully, let's kind of toe heel, toe heel until our feet are a little closer together either hip width apart or touching, and do our forward fold in this position. Hold here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, lift the head, lengthen the back. Extend the arms out to the side, reverse swan dive. Inhale, come all the way up, reach your arms up high. Hold here. Just let your body settle in. Lift the toes, gently put them back. Feel where your alignment is in terms of ankles, knees, hips, pelvis, spine and neck, shoulders, arms. Let's find our really lovely alignment for ourselves today. Just in a simple standing posture. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. One. Keeping our arms exactly where they are. Slowly and mindfully, let's come into the chair pose. Loop the passana. Take a breath in. As you exhale, sit into your chair. Really think about maintaining that alignment. Ankle. Our turn in, meaning we are uh, lifting the arches. So even though our knees are bent, and maybe our knees are over our ankles, but I can still see my toes. I'm not letting my knees come in towards one another. There's still a slight outer rotation. Same thing with my hips, that's for stability. Now, if you tend to arch your back here, remember that pelvic tilt? Go ahead and do that. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One, exhale, forward fold. Hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, bend the knees, lift the head, straighten the back. 
This time, inhale and bring the arms straight in front of you so your head is in between your forearms. Look at your hands. Right now, shift your weight a little bit forward. And then inhale, hinge at the hips and come all the way up. As you come to the top, your knees straighten and you're back into your beautiful extended Tadasana, arms overhead. Feel this alignment, hold it. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's do the whole thing again into a chair. Take a breath in. Exhale, sit. Make your adjustments once you get to your, the point where you're challenged in this position. Keep opening the chest. If you're having a problem keeping the arms overhead, think about that armpit. It goes outward. Even as your palms are coming in, shoulders down, straighten the back with a slight pelvic tilt. It's very subtle because you don't want to lose your stability in this position, okay? Hold, four. Three, two, one. Shift the weight slightly forward. As you exhale, you come into a forward fold. As you get to the bottom, if you'd like, go ahead, straighten the knees. And hold. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, let the head lengthen the back. Inhale, extend the arms in front of you. Rock the shoulders behind. Look at your hands. Weight shifted forward just a little bit. And then inhale, stand up, straighten the legs, extend the arms, drop the shoulders, both here. Easy breath. Let's stay here a little bit longer. Let's see if we can relax our shoulders even more. I'm not letting go of my awareness of lifting the arches, slight external rotation of knees. And hips that's opening up uh, the channels for blood flow and energy flow all the way down and up from my feet to the crown of my head to the tips of my fingers. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. One. As you exhale, turn the palms out and release the hands. All right, we've really done a nice warm up. We've really felt that alignment. So let's come into tree pose. Standing with our feet hip width apart. First, even out your breath. Remember, your balance is really connected to how even and rhythmic your breath is. So let's stand here. Open up the palms to the sides. Inhale the arms up. Nice and slow. Then the next time release. This is a further balancing breath before we do the balancing pose. Let's do it one more time. Inhale up. And exhale. Shift the weight to the left. Bring the right knee up, place it. Now it's either gonna be below or above the knee, okay? Today, just because of the way my hip is feeling, I'm putting my foot just below my knee, and then I'm trying to push that right knee behind me to open up this hip point. But at the same time, I want my hip points to be squared off. I don't want one higher than the other, and I don't want my left hip to be sticking up. Lots of things to think about. We're in position. Hands up by your sides, open the palms, inhale, arms up. At the top, hands together, exhale to your heart. Another helpful mudra to balance us, hold here.
Remember, we're looking at something that hopefully is not moving in front of us. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, to come out. First, inhale, arms up overhead. As you exhale, release the hands to the sides, drop the shoulders, and then release all the way. Right foot down, we're staying on both legs. Preparatory balance breath, open up the palms, inhale, arms up slowly. And exhale down. Let's do it one more time, inhale up. And exhale down. Okay, now we're ready. Tree pose on the opposite side. As you inhale, shift the weight to the right, bringing the left knee up, place the foot where you would like. Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time. All right, just gonna do it this way. All right, we're in position. Open up the palms, inhale, arms up. Hands together, exhale to your heart, Anjali Mudra. Hold here. Now sometimes, especially when we're having problems with our hips, there's also a tendency for the butt to stick out for more balance. We really want to think about doing a stronger pelvic tilt to bring that hip in line so that our standing leg has integrity. Something to think about. Hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhale, arms up high. As you exhale, slightly open the arms, drop the shoulders. Nice wide oak tree. And then as you exhale, release the palms down, release the left foot down. We're back into dasana, hold here. Open up the palms, inhale up. Go ahead, look up at your hands. Exhale, release, letting the chin drop from neutral all the way to your chest. Let's do that again. Inhale, look up. Chin passes through neutral and then up high. Look at your hands. And exhale, release. Let's go ahead and open up our stance into a wide straddle. In this position, remember, your feet are either nicely parallel to the short side of the mat or slightly pigeon-toed. Swan dive down. Open up the palms, inhale, arms up first. Now right here, sometimes there's a tendency to lean back as we do our forward fold. So think about bringing your weight forward. Feel a little more weight on your toes. And then as you exhale, swan dive down. And reach the hands for the mat if you can. Fingers and toes in one line, release the head down. Roll the shoulders up and back. Hold here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse swan dive with the head length in the back first. Now, just by lengthening the back, I'm coming up to my fingertips, so I know I have a nice long back. I'm using my core. Inhale, extend the arms out to the sides. Inhale again, let's stand up. Releasing the arms up high. And exhale, hands down. Let's do that whole thing again. Open up palms, inhale, arms up. Right here, shift your weight a little bit forward and exhale, swan by down. Holding here, eight, seven, 
Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift head, lengthen the back, extend the arms to the side. Again, right here, if you feel that you've let your weight come to behind you, shift the weight a little bit forward, and now inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, release. Let's toe heel, toe heel. Back to Tadasana. Let's hold this position. Really feel the slight external rotation here in the hips, the knees, ankles. They're actually pointing in towards one another to lift the arch slightly, but then our knees are coming out, and so is our hip to open up this alignment. Hold here, close the eyes. Soft breath, four, three, two, and one. As you exhale, open up your eyes, relax the pose, let's come down to our back, onto our back. Let's do one nice supine twist. Arms are extended out to the side. Legs are extended. Let's activate the legs so that the toes, knees, and hip points are all pointing up towards the sky. All together in a pelvic tilt, we'll float the knees over the hips. So all together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, float knees up. In position, take a breath in. As you exhale, knees to the right, you look to the left. And let's hold. Now's a good time to think about elongating the breath. For some of you, it's much more comfortable to have equal inhale and exhale. For others, it's more comfortable to have a longer exhale or inhale. So whatever is good for you, go ahead. There's no rule about that right now. Do a little review of your shoulders. Can you roll them away from your ears a little bit more, creating more space? And let's count down from four. Three, two, and one. Okay, all together, coming to the other side, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, float to center, and now to the other side. And just allow yourself to settle in.
Let's count down four, three, two, and one. And then all together, come to the center, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, feel that tail come to center. Inhale, hands to knees. Exhale, knees to chest. Really think about elongating that spine. We just came out of a twist and now we're letting it come back to a nice uh, place of equilibrium, nice straight spine, extended all the way from the bottom of the spine to the top. Nice gentle curve in the neck is natural, uh, whatever is natural for you. Chin is in neutral position, so we feel the lengthening all the way through the crown of the head. And then one leg at a time, let's stretch out as we come into Savasana. So go ahead, take both hands to the left knee. And as you exhale, extend that right leg down to the mat. Feel a nice opening through that right hip. Once you feel that opening, as you exhale, go ahead, release the left leg all the way down. And then hands are by our sides, palms up. And we're in Savasana. And let's come out together nice and slow. Take a few breaths first. As you bring awareness back to the inhale and the exhale, the feel of the mat underneath your body. And then let's slowly begin to move the toes and the ankles. And then the fingers and wrists. Knees and elbows. Shoulders and hips. Perhaps rolling from side to side. So we have a nice gentle twist through the spine. Letting the head move from side to side nice and slow. And on your next exhale, roll over to your right side. 
Let's stay here for a few breaths. Just enjoy the quietness, the even breath. Doing our best to stay in our practice right to the last minute before we let other life and obligations intrude on our time. Then using your hands for support as you exhale, go ahead, push up. And let's come into a nice comfortable seated position once more. Take your time to feel your seat bones on the mat. Feel your ankles, lower legs, nice and stable on the mat, and then extend through the spine, roll the shoulders up and back. Feel that your chin is in a neutral position in line with the spine. Close your eyes. Come back to that easy breath. And now inhale, bring hands to heart center. And sharing the pranava together one time. Take a breath in. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. As you exhale, bow down to the teacher within. And inhale, gently come back up. Let's open our eyes. We're back into full awareness, ready for the day. Namaste, everyone. Thank you. Have a great day. It was wonderful sharing yoga with all of you, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Ciao.